Today we're testing out the Godox VD mic. We're going to test it out vlogging in a field and we're going to test it out in a studio environment and we're going to pit it against the king of micro microphones, the Rode Video Micro, to see how it stands up. Let's do it. <laughs> Right then, the Godox VD mic, and that is actually what you're listening to straight away. So this whole video will be recorded on either this or the Rode Video Micro when I do some comparisons between the two. We're going to do some sort of studio stuff, some studio comparisons, so you can hear the differences and compare the two to see what they sound like. And then we'll get out and about and do a bit of a vlogger vlogger Rooney to see what the wind noise is like. Both come with these dead cats included in the box. The Godox actually comes with a little pop filter as well uh, and a sort of an additional accessory compared to the Rode Video Micro. So a few specs just off the box basically it's got it says it's got outstanding anti-interference capability so we're not going to get into interference from any electrical signals or any mobile phones apparently. It's compatible with both smartphone and DSLR or mirrorless camera obviously. So it actually comes with the two different leads because it's compatible with both cameras and smartphones. I know for a fact the GoPro is a TRRS connection so that's really handy as well to have the extra wire. The cameras generally are TRS connections which is just the connections there if I take this out of here for you. This this connection just has an extra ring on it if you don't know the difference between TRS and TRRS. Uh, but yes, yeah, it comes with both. So the microphone is TRS and this is to TRRS. I feel like I've gone enough. enough. I've, I've talked enough about TRS. It's compact and lightweight. It is actually a little bit smaller than the Video Micro. The Rode Video Micro is sort of been the standard for non-powered small microphone. Uh, quality when it comes to these kind of things and uh, we'll compare the two in just a second. It does uh, feature the Coach shock mount which is the mount that the actual microphone clips into. It's a cardioid microphone so it has that, that sort of heart shaped pickup pattern from most microphones. You can google all the different kind of uh, frequency pickups from different microphones but this one is sort of it picks up mainly what's in front of you not from behind. The microphone itself looks very very well built the sound quality is going to have to sort of speak for itself and you can be the decider of it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and what it sounds like, how the two compare as we go through the video. If you want to skip through the video, by the way, you can do. The different chapters will be linked down below and in the red line on the actual video so you can skip through and see the comparisons and the different sections of the video. And while you're down there, please make sure that you do subscribe and press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Lots of stuff coming up on this channel, so don't miss out. So what we'll do now, we'll switch over to the Rode Video Micro in this sort of studio setting and uh, you can tell me what you think about the sound of that one. Right, this is the Rode Video Micro with the Deadcat on there. Just make a note that both Deadcats are easy to get on. They come, like I said, with the rubber clips in there so they just sort of push on, clip on to the little ridges in the microphone and they're going to stay on there nice and, nice and snug. So this is the Rode Video Micro. What does that sound like? That's the in-studio comparison. What we'll do, we'll get out, we'll do a bit of a vlog, we'll test both microphones, we'll switch back over to the Godox first of all, so you can see how that performs outside. And uh, yeah, let's go and check them outside and see how they compare to each other performance-wise. Right, we're out vlogging in a field. We are with the Canon R6. We're obviously testing the Godox first of all to see how it performs. It is a little bit windy, so how is the wind performance when it comes to coping with that. Um, I have got the dead cat on there at the moment so that's pretty good. It looks good. It is actually smaller than the road which is good. It's a bit l less inconspicuous which is the word I'm looking for which is nice when you're out vlogging you don't want to stand out too much. Although at the moment I've got both microphones mounted on top of the R6 so I am not inconspicuous. You can hear the wind. The wind's blowing now. How's it coping with that? Hopefully it's coping all right. I'm hoping it's coping with this. We'll compare it to the Rode Video Micro in a little while. Now, the good thing about it, like I mentioned before, as I try and not fall in a muddy ditch, is that it comes with both leads. If you don't know, there's, there's a difference because there's TRS and there's TRRS. It's tip, ring, ring, sleeve, or tip, ring, sleeve. Now, TRRS generally is used for GoPros and mobile devices like mobile phones. And I'm going to be doing a video pretty soon on an iPhone vlogging setup, which I'm going to be using the Godox microphone for as well. 
with that TRRS lead. Now that is one of the advantages of buying this microphone, it comes with both leads in the box already so you haven't got to uh, buy them separately. That's a, that's a bonus, it really is, that's, that's a really good feature and if the audio is okay I'd probably buy it over the road at the moment but we're going to evaluate that when we get back in the studio and I can edit all the footage and see what it sounds like. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to the Rode Video Micro and you can hear that, sort of compare the two. Right, so this is the Rode Video Micro with the dead cat on as well. It's, I'm using the same wire as well, so I'm not using different wires, that doesn't make a difference. I'm actually using the same wire, so when I'm filming with one microphone, the wire doesn't jangle around and you can hear it in the audio, which I thought about just before I left the house. You have to be the deciding force when it comes to the audio, does it sound better on the video? How is the re wind reduction with that dead cat on there? Does it sound any better than the Godox? Um, I'll give my opinion at the end of this, whether I think it does or not. Godox did send me this microphone for free to test, but as always on this channel, it is a totally honest review, and if it's rubbish, I'll tell you if the other one's better. I'll tell you that as well. Price-wise, I think I might have mentioned this before, but at the moment, the Rode Video Micro is actually cheaper at £45 on Amazon, and the Godox is coming in at £59, I think, at the moment. So a little bit of difference with price, but like I said before, you do get two wires in the box, the TRS and the TRRS with the Godox and you get that pop filter as well which I'm going to be using when I've got it linked up to the iPhone and the GoPro which is good so you get a little bit of extra stuff in the box when you actually purchase the microphone. We're back on the Godox now and this is a really good test of the microphone's capabilities because it's pretty much the middle of winter we have got blustery winds and that's blowing around the microphone from the front and the back it's not coming from one direction, it's sort of swirling around. I think that is pretty much it for the vlogging test. Like I said, the, we've tested both the Rode Micro and the Godox VD. You can be the judge and you can tell me what you think and what sounds better, if one copes better with the wind or not. I'm gonna get back into the studio, edit the footage first, then I'll finish filming this video to test it. And we'll uh, have a little bit of conclusion. If you do wanna check out one of these microphones and grab one for yourself links will be in the description down below they are affiliate links so like i said they're both of them for the road and the godox do help this channel grow if you buy through that link but you don't have to it's totally up to yourselves and while you're down there do please make sure you subscribe and press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads if you press subscribe it's free and all you do is get notified every time i upload a video we've got loads of cool stuff like this godox mic loads of videos coming up soon so stay tuned Okay, so, well, it's a bit of a mixed bag for me when it comes to the comparison between the two. I'm totally honest, as like, like I said, now bear in mind I'm not an audiophile, I'm not an audio expert by any stretch of the imagination, but to me, both have, have advantages and disadvantages. The Godox in the vlogging setup outside with the wind seemed to handle it a bit better to me. It sounded a little bit clearer. The clarity of the audio was a little bit nicer to my ears and yeah it did sound a little bit better also with the wind like I said it coped with that a little bit better but in the studio setup with sort of a no noise situation I think the road was a little bit better to my ears as well so yeah mixed mixed results I like both microphones, the Godox very good for the price. The Godox probably edges it for me because it comes and it gets shipped with that pop filter and the extra lead for the TRS, so I can use it with the GoPro and my phone as well for vlogging. New videos coming up on that soon, so yeah, mixed bag. Both microphones, fully recommend them. Uh, thanks to Godox again for sending me the mic to uh, review. Very, very good microphone, fully recommend both of them, and yeah, great. Like I said, if you wanna grab either of them, Links in the description down below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and press a bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Like I said, loads of stuff coming up soon. I'm so busy. It's unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, until the next one, guys, take it easy. I'll see you soon. Bye.